Class Warfarin, Colonel Angus, Johnny Demonic, Freddie Mercury, duly noted Kyle Kyle Crocodile, autocorrect and doesn't matter. Those are our refs and non-skating officials. Both teams on the track ready for jam one of this first game of the day. We're getting a weird thumbs up from some of the refs. And we are off for the first jam of this game. Trampas for Connecticut All-Stars going up against Sasbury for North Star Roller Derby. Sasbury knocked to the outside, having to recycle all the way back. Tramp Trampas working their way towards the front and is out as lead jammer for Connecticut All-Stars. Sasbury has removed the cap, is looking for a pass to their pivot friend, working their way on the upside, and is now almost free from that pack as well. And a nice spin move on that outside keeps Sasbury inbounds as Trampas comes through for four points for Connecticut. And a call-off will end the first jam of the day. Four points for Connecticut All-Stars. Nada for Supernovas. Still early. You guys got time. Nice empty penalty box. You'll love to see it. Black Cherry for Connecticut All-Stars going up against Slim Sadie for the North Star Supernovas. Both jammers fighting hard for that lead position against a full contingency of blockers from both sides. Slim Sadie working their way towards the top of that pack, hearing a whistle. Looks like we've got a Connecticut blocker going to that penalty box for the first one of the game. And that is Slim Sadie for the Supernovas free and clear on their initial pass. Couple more whistles, see where that's gonna land as Sadie works their way through for four points. Is clear for four. Black Cherry still working hard on that initial pass. It is now a very busy time in the Connecticut side of the penalty box. And a call off from Slim Sadie. Fortunately, got three Connecticut friends hanging out in that penalty box. That was eight points for the Supernovas, bringing the score eight for North Star, four for Connecticut All-Stars. Katarina Hit going up against Suffocation Risk for Connecticut. And that is Katarina Hit for lead jammer for Supernovas of North Star, followed close behind by Seth Chris for Connecticut All Stars. Connecticut's still rocking three blockers in that penalty box, making easy work for Katarina Hit to come through with four points and call off that jam. Connecticut pivot released from the box. So we now have two Connecticut blockers, one North Star blocker in that penalty box. Score is 12 for North Star and four for Connecticut. Sasbury for North Star going up against Sabotage Sabal. And that is Sasbury for a lead jammer for North Star. Connecticut just recycling their blockers through that penalty box as Sabotage works their way through on their initial, trying to get out. And they are out on their initial as well. Sasbury actively scoring points for their team. Easy work through and calling it off. Still leaving two Connecticut blockers in that penalty box. Score is now 16-4 with North Star in the lead. Trampas for Connecticut. 
And Slim Sadie, or North Star. Connecticut getting one more block in that box as Trampus runs her way to the front for Lee Jammer. Slim Sadie following not far behind. Will we get a clear penalty box this jam? We certainly will, folks. That is all four blockers for each team back on that track to help their jammers score or not score. And a quick call off from Connecticut. Good job, friends. Next jam, I'll read you guys the rosters, I promise. I just straight up forgot. Katarina hit for North Star. And that is taking on Thorn for Connecticut. Thorn's first time out on the jammer line. And making quick work, getting Lee Jammer for Connecticut. And a nice pass from North Star over to Kilroy, who is now your jammer of record. Thorn working hard on getting some points for their team. And quick call off by Thorn. Let's have some rosters, shall we? Today for North Star, we have one, two, one, three, zero, zero, Katarina Hit, one, five, Daryl B. Blood, one, seven, Red Hot Toddy, one, nine, Karen, one, nine, four, nine, Red Panda, two, zero, Slim Sadie, four, zero, Crust, four, four, Jim Rat, four, six, Hit List, number five, eight, Saltine, number six, two, two, Croy, number seven, Guillotina, number eight, three, three, Bizkill, and nine, oh, six, Sassberry. Ooh, that was a lot to read at once. Empty penalty box for this next jam coming up. We got Sassbury versus Sabotage the Ball for Connecticut. And that is going to be Sassbury called lead, but having to recycle back to the pack. Lead, but not quite through. There she goes. Bye-bye, Sass. Sass now clear on their initial. We've got Sabotage working hard on the back of that pack. Getting blocked by a hard line of North Star blockers. And unfortunately, that will send North Star's pivot to the penalty box as Sass comes through for four points for North Star. Sabotage coming around, trying to get some points of their own. So again, one of the box for North Star. Connecticut has all four blockers on the track, and a call off will end that jam. Skating for Connecticut Roller Derby All-Stars, 1023 Scully, 110 Luciana Pulverati, number two, Bruce Fintuna, number two, zero, zero, six, Trampas, number two, three, Pepper Two four sabotage the ball. I know I'm saying that wrong. Sorry. Number three zero puke Skywalker. Thirty Skelter. Number four Black Cherry. Number five Thorn. Number five zero Kathy Burr. Number six four Suffocation Risk. Number eight Havoc. Number eight six Semia Rage. Number nine two Just Pickle and number nine nine Puss and Glutes. And that, unfortunately, is Connecticut All-Star Black Cherry Jammer coming to the box. We've got a power jam opportunity for Connecticut. North Star's penalty box looking a little bit full with their jammer, their pivot, and a blocker hanging out in that box. Black Cherry from Connecticut doing some work on a power jam, sliding through on that outside line for four points. North Star pivot is back in the mix, trying to get up with their friends. And Black Cherry almost making it through again on that outside line for four more points. And North Star Jammer is back in on the track, cap in hand, looking to make a pass to their pivot friend as Black Cherry is just racking up them points for Connecticut. Hit list with that pivot cap. And Black Cherry, allergic to other blockers touching her. Get off. 12 points for Black Cherry on this jam. Hit list is now your jammer record. Pivot turn jammer after that beautiful star pass. And a call off from Black Cherry will end that monumental jam for Connecticut All-Stars. Wait on those last couple points to trickle in. There we go. 14 points on that jam, gee whiz. So we're at 24 points for Connecticut All-Stars, 20 for the North Star Supernovas. An almost empty penalty box. We got one North Star blocker in that box. Looking to join their friends. Suffocation Risk versus Katarina Hit on that jam line. 
And a nice spin oh, on the outside for Risk. And a quick star pass means Kilroy is neck and neck with Suffocation Risk. Good call on Risk to call that off before Kilroy can put any points on the board for their team. And a clear penalty box. Nice. Quick shout out to some of our sponsors for this weekend is Triple Eight and 187 Killer Pads, keeping us safe on this track. I haven't skated on it yet, but I've heard it's a sticky floor with some slick spots that only gets worse throughout the day as we are sitting in that nice Minnesota humidity. You love to be sticky. Empty penalty box, which means we got all of our friends on that track ready to hit each other. Trampus for Connecticut All Stars taking on Sathbury for North Star. Both jammers fighting in a scrum pack in the back. Got a whistle right off the bat, see who's going to be leaving the track. You hear your number, you got to leave the track. Go ahead and sit for your penalty as we have Trampus for Connecticut out on lead. Sasbury fighting towards the top of that pack, looking for some offense from their friends as Trampus comes in to score some points. And sneaks their way through. Sasbury though not far behind, clear on her initial, looking to make some points of her own. That is four on the board already for Trampus and Connecticut All-Stars. And a quick call off from Trampus will end that jam. One North Star blocker in that penalty box. Five seconds till this next jam begins. We are on jam 10. Down 12 minutes in this first game of the day for Hand. We've got five more games for the rest of the day, so stick around for some amazing derby throughout our day today. Both jammers fighting for that spot. Oh, and on tiptoes. Oh, unfortunately, Slim Sadie, it looked really cool, but it was slightly out of bounds. Slim Sadie to the box for North Star which means that Thorne for Connecticut is on a power jam. I believe is still able to grab a lead. Oh, sick. The refs knew I was right. Thorne for lead jammer for Connecticut also has come around to score some points on a power jam, which means that their team could do a heck of a lot of offense and a beautiful apex little run up the line for Thorne. One North Star blocker is released in the box and another one will take their place. Beautiful co-stop work for Thorne as they run up that inside. And a North Star blocker back to the box. Sadie is out and has created that star pass to number four for Jim Rat. And a quick call up will end that jam. I guess I don't know what a slow call-off would look like. I'm saying quick call-off for all of them. They're all probably very quick. We're looking at 40 points for Connecticut All-Stars with 12 points in that last jam to North Stars 20. 17 minutes and 22-ish seconds left in this first half of the first game of the day. Time out. Team time out for North Star. Thanks, Stomps. While they're taking a team timeout, we've got some beautiful friends who are taking care of the track for us, Biz and Painsley. I was supposed to help you guys, but I forgot closed-toed shoes. Sorry, friends. A little bit of humidity today in the venue, so we're working on keeping that tape touching the ground. Otherwise, it does no good. So we've got our friends out there making sure that our skaters and our refs stay safe on that track. Shout out to Dougie for helping me think of stuff to say on that Twitch. After this game at noon, we have Denver B team taking on Grand Raggedy. At 2 p.m., we've got a mixer game. And then at 4 p.m., Minnesota Nice, which is our B team taking on Denver C team. Looks like our officials are still converging. 
That's the nice thing about timeouts. If one team takes a timeout, every team gets to take a second, chat with your friends, rehydrate, because even though it's not super hot quite yet, it's going to get there. All right, folks, we are back and ready. We have two blockers in the box for North Star, Rutro. And that is Suffocation Risk from Connecticut All-Stars going up against Katarina Hit. I love when the jammers are tall. I can see who it is. And that is Risk with a quick lead jammer for this jam coming around to score some points. Katarina with cap in hand, working on making some moves. And Suffocation Risk not even touched, said no thanks. I want points for myself. Coming around for four more points. Katarina Hit still working real hard against the back of that pack. It's a tough group. And Risk. Waiting on a whistle to see what's going on. All right, looks like we now unfortunately have two Connecticut blockers headed to the penalty box. Katarina Hit is out on their initial and is looking to score some points of their own. Suffocation Risk working hard against the top of that pack. And a call off from Suffocation Risk. We'll leave two of their friends in the penalty box. Wait for those last couple points to come in from the refs. Looks like that is going to be eight points on the board for Connecticut All-Stars, zero for North Star. There's still plenty of time though. We're not even halfway through the first half of this first game, so plenty of time to make some moves, score some points. And have some fun. Sasbury versus Sabotage Sabal for Connecticut All-Stars. And Sasbury with a quick lead on the inside, but and unfortunately that is gonna be a forearm cut on the Connecticut Jammer Sabotage headed to that penalty box to join the, some of their friends. Sasbury coming around for some points against two Connecticut blockers. Looking for some help from their friends. That now clears up the box. We've got our Connecticut blockers back on the track. We've got our North Star Pivot hanging out in that penalty box along with the Connecticut Jammer. Wonder what they're talking about. And Sasbury hits hard on that outside. Trying to come back inside then back outside for some points. And a nice spin move with one blocker left to contend with at the top of the pack and is now free for four more points. North Stars Pivot is back on the track. And Connecticut Jammer is also back in the mix. And unfortunately, another cut track is going to go to that Connecticut Jammer. Just a slight toe stop out of bounds, heading back to that penalty box. So yet another power jam for Sasbury and North Star Roller Derby. Chipping away at that lead. That is going to be four more points for Sasbury, bringing their score to 12. That is one initial pass and three scoring points. That's a lot of laps for a jammer to do. And a nice spin on that outside line. Sasbury taking on just one last Connecticut blocker at the top of that pack. No pack call means they've got to let her go. And Sasbury for four more points. Get it, girl. Connecticut Jammer is back on the track. We've got about 15 seconds left in this jam. Just enough time to make some moves. Sasper hitting for four more points. And that is Sabotage the Ball free on their initial pass, looking around to score some points for Connecticut All-Stars. But before that can happen, jam will end. Ending with one Connecticut blocker in the box and a 20-point jam for North Star Roller Derby narrowing that gap between the two teams score. 40 for Supernovas, 48 for Connecticut all Stars. Nice job, Sass. I'm tired watching ya. All right, folks. Full contingency of blockers for North Star Roller Derby. We got one Connecticut blocker in the penalty box. Box. Slim Sadie for North Star Supernovas taking on Black Cherry for Connecticut All-Stars. No lead as of yet. Both jammers fighting hard. Doing lateral moves, trying to break up those tripods, but these blockers know their tricks. They're staying glued together. But with an amazing backwards up the outside line, Black Cherry for Connected All-Stars is your lead jammer. Slim Sadie taking a brief vacation to the outside and having to recycle all the way back behind that pack, thanks to Connecticut's pivot. And an attempted apex jump by Connecticut jammer. 
unfortunately. Looked cool, but no good. Has to go all the way back to the back of the pack and recycle for those points. We do have a star pass on North Star. Number 44, Jim Rat was pivot and is now jammer of record for North Star Roller Derby. Looking to make some points. Closing the gap with a lot of speed to try and catch up to Black Cherry of Connecticut. Blockers rushing towards the front to make sure that they can keep their points safe. Black Cherry sprinting for four more points and a quick call off. Let's see if Jim Rat got any points that time. Eight points on the board for Connecticut All-Stars. Unfortunately, big old goose egg for the North Star Supernovas. But a nice blast of speed. Penalty box, oh my god, is empty. So we'll have 10 players on the track. Four blockers and a jammer for each team. Looking like Katarina hit for North Star, taking on Saffication Risk for Connecticut. Just a grinding start as they're trying to fight their way through. Both teams working incredibly hard for this first game of the day. It's tough being the first. You just woke up. Looks like everyone's coffee has kicked in as they're pushing towards that front into that first apex. We're hearing a whistle. Looks like we've got a North Star blocker headed to that penalty box. Staff still fighting at the back, but looks like is now running up that inside to claim lead jammer for Connecticut All-Stars. Katarina ha ha has removed the cap and is now out on their initial as well. For those of you who are wondering why this jammer take the cap off, sometimes if a jammer does not get lead jammer status, they will remove their cap in an attempt to try to pass to their pivot, who has the who is the friend with the stripe on their helmet. But if they get through on their own, they can put that cap back on and start scoring points for their team. Who knew? One North Star blocker in that penalty box. With just over 10 minutes left in this first half, we have Trampus for Connecticut All-Stars taking on Sathbury for North Star Roller Derby. Sass making a quick move to the end, try and get through those blockers, brought to their knees instead as Trampus is pushing towards that front. And around the outside of the track is Trampus for Connecticut All-Stars for Lee Jammer. We do have one Connecticut blocker heading to the penalty box. Sassbury has removed that Jammer cap, but is looking to get through. Trampus for four points, like butter. And that is Sassbury clear on their initial, puts that cap back on. We do have a Connecticut blocker as well as a North Star blocker headed to the penalty box. I don't know how blocking works, so I couldn't tell you what those penalties are. Sorry, friends. Trampus for four more points on this jam, bringing their total to eight points for the jam. Sasper dragged all the way back by 819 on Connecticut. That is going to be havoc. And Trampus through again for four more points. Oh, and Sasper brought to a screeching halt on that outside. Again, having to recycle all the way back behind their friends. Trampus for another four points. Clearing the Connecticut side of the penalty box as well as the North Star side. So both teams now have their full contingency of, contingency of blockers. It's early. Back on the track. Sasper working hard against the top of that pack. Only two more to beat. You can't cross your arms that. There we go. We got one Connecticut blocker to the box on a multiplayer as Sass breaks through for four points. Trampus, four more points and calling off the jam. Bringing their total to a 20-point jam for Connecticut All-Stars. Bringing their total score to 80. That it was four more for the on the board for Supernovas of North Star, bringing their score to 44. That math's too hard for me. I can't do it. Someone else can do it. One Connecticut blocker in the penalty box. Thorn for Connecticut All-Stars taking on Slim Sadie for North Star. Slim Sadie, Sadie pushing towards the top of that pack, but getting hit to the inside, jumping right back in, and is lead jammer for North Star Roller Derby. Thorn working their way through the front of the pack as Sadie comes around for a first scoring pass. Beautiful offense by their pivot as Sadie is through for four. Oh, but destroyed on that outside line by number 9-9. Nine, nine. Puss and Glutes, one of the captains for Connecticut. Big ouch. 
Looks like Slim did get four points, though, on that pass, so bringing the score up to 48 for North Star Roller Derby. An empty penalty box. If you're playing a morning drinking game of coffee or water, or whatever you want, take a drink. And we've got Safication Risk taking on Katarina Hit. Full contingency of blockers on the track. Oh, we're all sitting down, taking a rest. Nice pop back up. It's a weird floor, friends, sorry. Katarina Hit pushing on the top of that pack against the tripod of Connecticut blockers with some offense from their friends. Hit to the inside, unfortunately. We are having, hearing a penalty whistle. We'll see what shakes down from that. We do have one Connecticut blocker headed to the penalty box. Safication risk pushing at the top of the back against four North Star blockers. No thank you. And tiptoe on the outside, bringing Safication risk as Lee Jammer and a very quick star pass to Kilroy of North Star Roller to be making them the jammer. North Star's had some beautiful star passes this game. And a call off from Safication risk before Kilroy can do any damage to that score. Looks like two points for Connecticut, none for North Star. One Connecticut blocker in the box. Six minutes and 16 seconds left in this first period of the first game of the day. Again, following this game at noon will be Denver B team taking on Grand Raggedy. On our jammer line, we have Sasbury for North Star taking on Sabotage Sabal. I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong for Connecticut All-Stars. And that is Sasbury with the lead jammer for North Star Roller Derby. Followed pretty closely behind by Sabotage. Both jammers out on their initial clear penalty box. And a call off from North Star. We'll see if it was in enough time. And both jammers getting all four points on that pass. Bringing our score up 52 for North Star, 86 for Connecticut All-Stars. Once again, empty penalty box. Both pods starting at that, right on top of that jammer line, giving no space for their jammers to move. Slim Sadie for North Star taking on Black Cherry for Connecticut. Both jammers at the time still stuck in those tripods. Each team is gonna have a different strategy for how they wanna set up. As a jammer, I've noticed they always kind of squish together at the end and it looks a little bit like this. Blockers and jammers melding together. We do have a penalty whistle for a cut track being called on a Connecticut blocker. I believe that is going to be Havoc. I can read, look at that. And that is Black Cherry for lead for Connecticut All-Stars. And a quick star pass on the point of North Star, passing off to Jim Rat. Nice hop and a spin from Black Cherry to score four points for her team and a quick call off before Jim Rat can do any damage to that score. Again, beautiful star passes. It's hard to do them in a sneaky way and North Star has been doing a great job. We are starting with one Connecticut blocker in that penalty box. Couple high fives on the track, you'll love to see it. Katarina hit for North Star, taking on Trampus from Connecticut. And a beautiful half beamed up, half block from Katarina hit on the outside is gonna make them lead jammer for North Star. One Connecticut blocker released in the boxes, another one comes in. Trampus still working hard on their initial and is now free on their initial. Katarina with four points and a call off will end the jam. All four points to North Star, none for Connecticut with one blocker in the box. Quick shout out to our medics that we have here on staff today, making sure we all stay safe. Hopefully we won't need you, but walking and talking at the same time is hard, so we'll see. Looks like we are going to have an official review called by North Star Supernovas. It 
It does look as though Northstar is using their official review as a timeout. So each team is assigned three timeouts and one official review. When you call an official review, you can either use that as a timeout, as Northstar is doing, doing, or if you gently and lovingly disagree with a call that the ref made in the last jam, you can call an official review, head out there, chat about it, see if they want to change their mind. Both teams now back out on the track. We do still have one Connecticut blocker sitting in that penalty box. Three minutes left in the first half of this first game of the day for hand. Sasbury from North Star taking on Sabotage the Ball for Connecticut. And unfortunately, that is going to be North Star's pivot number 4-6 headed to the penalty box. As Connecticut's blocker number two, Bruce Ventuna, is released. Amazing name. Both jammers, we are 30 seconds into this jam, and both jammers are still fighting for that lead jammer position. Fastbury knocked out and has to have recycle all the way back to the back of the pack. Sabotage is fighting on that outside line. We are having a whistle. Looks like that's going to be another North Star blocker headed to the penalty box. Leaving Sabotage with only two blocks to, to contend with at the top of that pack. And lead is assigned to number 2-4 of Connecticut Roller Derby. Unfortunately, it's also going to be a power jam as Sasbury is sent to the penalty box. But is now released from the penalty box. Just kidding. So, no penalty sign. Little oopsies moment. Sasbury is back on the track. I believe still working on their initial pass. We now have a Connecticut blocker in the box. Beautiful bean dip on that outside of turn one for Sabotage as they're working through for four points. Sasbury is now clear on their initial, coming, looking around, coming around to make some points for their team as well. A little sneak up the inside line, but one butt cheek took her out, has to recycle all the way back. And unfortunately, that will be a cut track on Sasbury for North Star making this a power jam for Connecticut and Sabotage as Connecticut's blocker is released from that box. 10 seconds left in this jam. Let's see what Connecticut can do with these last couple seconds. Currently, they've got four points on the board already. That is another four. And that will bring our jam to a close. 98 for Connecticut All-Stars, 58 for All-Star for the Supernovas from North Star. It's my first day speaking English. And hey, I can do that math. That's a 40 point difference between our two teams, friends. 40 seconds left in this half. Starting off with Sasbury in that box for North Star, giving Savification Risk a chance for a power jam and lead jam. Lead is assessed to Savification Risk from Connecticut. No pack in the front means that blockers in the front have to come back and be closer to their friends as Savification Risk is trying to bust through for four points. And that is going to be a farm assessed two. Number 44, Jim Rat for North Star as Risk is through for four points. Packs have to stay within 10 feet of each other. You can bridge your friends out to keep each other close by, but if you get more than 10 feet away, that is a no pack. You have to come back and snuggle with your friends. Just like that no pack, everyone scooted together. Looks like we're gonna have a penalty from that. Connecticut blocker is heading to the penalty box. Sasbury is back out on that track as the jammer for North Star. Bust through nice and easy on that initial pass and Sasbury is out. Looking for some points. Unfortunately, a quick call off from Safication means that she's not gonna have a chance to score any points. And we are at intermission, folks. Score as it stands right now. 58 for North Star, 105 for Connecticut All-Stars. 
Take a break, refill your water because it's hot in here. Go check out our friends in the corner giving them out tattoos. Check out our merch, and we'll see you back here in a couple minutes. Sasbury on the jammer line for North Star taking on Sabotage for Connecticut. North Star does have all four of the blockers, but that is not enough to stop Sabotage from getting lead jammer for Connecticut about that inside line. Sasbury working towards the last three blockers now from Connecticut up at the top of that pack. And a weird but beautiful jump. Oh, but unfortunately that will be a cut track on Sabotage for Connecticut, meaning this is a power jam for Sasbury and North Star Roller Derby as they have all four blockers back on the track. No pass, no penalty means that Sasbury will be out on her initial and is looking to score some points. Since it was no pass, no penalty, there is no lead jammer for this game, so this jam will go the full two minutes. North Stars pivot, number four, six, hitless joining in the penalty box. Three blockers apiece for these blockers. Sasbury through for another four points. And a hit to the outside means Sasbury's gonna get dragged all the way back. Connecticut's jammer, Sabotage, is back on the track. Looking to get past on her initial and does so along that outside line. Now coming around for a scoring pass. 
North Star Pivot is standing in that penalty box, eager to back and help their friends. Sabotage with a hard hit through the middle of that North Star tripod as Sassbury scores four more points. Sabotage now, though, out with four points of her own. Looking to bridge that gap. An empty penalty box, if you can believe it, for these two teams. And Sabotage with a beautiful spin on that outside with four more. That is eight points for Connecticut, 11 so far. I'm so sorry. 12 for Connecticut on this jam, 11 for North Star. Legally, I have to do it. Score for North Star right now is 69. Nice. Sabotage with a slow to get up on that inside line. Some of these hits are real hard. Great work for both jammers and blockers from both teams. Score comes out to 14 points for North Star, bringing their score up to 72. 15 points on that jam for Connecticut, bringing their score up to 120. We do have an empty penalty box. Looks like we're going to have Slim Sadie for North Star going up against Thorne for Connecticut. As both jammers hit that scrummy pack. Different teams will have different strategies on how they want to line up on that line. They have to line. Both packs must line up between the jammer and the pivot line for the jam start. Unfortunately, that is going to be a track cut penalty on Thorn for Connecticut, meaning this is a power jam for North Star, and lead is still open for Slim Sadie, who is working their way through. And on that outside, one more to beat for Connecticut, and Sadie is free lead jammer on a power jam for North Star Roller Derby. Pushing up and nice pass on that inside line. Beautiful offense done by North Star for, to get Sadie through for four points. Unfortunately, that is going to be a back block penalty on Sadie for North Star, which means that Thorne is back on the track. Lead is not available, so this will be a full two minute jam. As explained yesterday, jammer penalties are a little bit different. If one jammer gets a penalty and then another jammer gets a penalty, having no jammers on the track would be really boring. And so the second jammer sits the penalty for the same length that the first jammer did. So if a jammer gets a penalty, sits down for two seconds, and another jammer gets a penalty, that jammer will also only sit for two seconds. Dancing up at the top of the pack, Thorne is through. Looking to score some points. We have about 20 seconds left in this jam, still plenty of time to get something moving as Thorne comes through for points. Sadie already has four points from the beginning of this jam. And a multiplayer on a Connecticut blocker will send them to the penalty box. And number 4-4 four, four on North Star, Jim Rat dragging Thorne all the way back. And that jam will come to a natural conclusion Seven points on the board for North Star, bringing their score to 79, and four for Connecticut. Sounds like we're having a team timeout for Connecticut All-Stars. Drink some water, gather your thoughts, tighten your skates. for North Star, and pardon me, five for North Star, none for Connecticut. We do have a Connecticut blocker sitting in that penalty box. And that whistle means jam is on. 23 minutes left on that period clock. Plenty of time for either team to run away with a score. Sassbury fighting atop of that pack for North Star Roller Derby with Black Cherry for Connecticut in the back against that vicious North Star tripod. Sass is pushing against Havoc from Connecticut and breaks free and is your lead jammer for North Star Roller Derby. Looking around to score some points as Connecticut heads back to do some offense for their jammer. Hits that pack hard. And Sass is out. For four more points, looks like there has been a star pass on behalf of Connecticut. Simaya Rage is now your jammer. 
still fighting through on that initial. Has the star in hand against, again, that North Star tripod. No thanks. Sass coming through for four more points, working hard at the top of that pack. See my array just still battling to get out on their initial pass, hoping to put that cap out and get some points for Connecticut. And that is Sass through for four more points for North Star. Sassberry really having one heck of a game today. See my rage again, still working through on that initial pass. And is now out on that initial pass, gonna put the cap on their head and looking to score some points for Connecticut. We do have 29 seconds left in this jam. Sass is lead and does choose to call the jam before See My Ridge can come up for any points for Connecticut. That will land as a 12-point jam for Sassbury and North Star. No points on the board for Connecticut. Looks like we are going to have a official timeout to fix our scoreboard that has disappeared. technical difficulties as they say we do have one scoreboard left on one side of the track we're going to get that other one back online shout out to our officials and volunteers who are getting all of our tech together we appreciate you guys i didn't know how to plug in a socket earlier today so give them a second to get all of that sorted gives teams a chance to kind of reset gives you folks at home a chance to rehydrate there we go thanks joss and brian you guys are the best It takes a lot to make a tournament work well. So volunteers, officials, skating and non, teams, thank you for traveling. Fans, thank you for traveling and cheering us on. We love that you are here. I know it's early in the morning for some. A couple high fives on the track, making sure teammates are still awake. We love it. Again, score as we sit right now is 124 for Connecticut All-Stars, 97 for North Star Roller Derby, an empty penalty box, drink. 21 minutes and 38 seconds left in this second half of the first game of the day for Have a Nice Day Tournament. That whistle means sabotage for Connecticut versus Slim Sadie for North Star. And sabotage is out as your lead jammer for Connecticut. Number 44 from North Star coming into the box. Slim Sadie is out on their initial as well. It looks like we've got two North Star blockers in that penalty box as sabotage is coming through for some points. Another penalty whistle, we'll see what happens. Unfortunately, that is gonna be another all-star, North Star blocker to the penalty box. They will return to the track until a spot opens up for them. You can only have two blockers sitting in the box. As soon as one stands, then another can come back. So there is blocker eight through three reporting to the box. That is eight points now for sabotage for Connecticut. Slim Sadie working on some points of their own for North Star. And a nice hit to the outside by North Star, making Sabotage having to work extra hard for those four points. That will be a whistle for a Connecticut blocker to return report to the penalty box. Sabotage was hit and recycled all the way back. Sadie for North Star does have that cap in hand, fighting through on that initial, and does pass it to Jim Rat of North Star, making them the jammer for North Star Roller Derby. Unfortunately, hit to the ground on the inside and having to be recycled all the way back. Sounds like there might be a couple penalties. And looks like that will be a penalty on a Connecticut blocker. Sabotage, still racking up points. 12 points to three as it stands right now for this jam. A beautiful apex jump by Sabotage will call off that jam. That was gorgeous. 16 points total for Connecticut All-Stars and three on the board for North Star, bringing them just up to the century mark. Century means 100. Found that out yesterday. 140 for Connecticut, 100 for North Star. Again, a 40-point difference between these two teams working hard on a Saturday morning. 19 minutes, 25 seconds left. One Connecticut blocker in that penalty box. Looks like... Staffication Risk and Katarina Hit facing off yet again on that jammer line. 
And with a little tippy toe on that outside, Savification Risk is out as your lead jammer for Connecticut All-Stars. And a, again, beautiful star pass done by North Star making Kilroy your jammer. It's done in milliseconds. And Katarina hit with a nice block to the outside, jammer turn blocker. Kilroy coming through for four points and gets those four points for North Star Roller Derby, sending a Connecticut blocker to that penalty box. Kilroy pushing hard on that outside line, looking to get some more points for their team, and does so. Four more for North Star, and that is four on the board as well for Connecticut All-Stars. Looking for four more, and a call off from Suffocation Risk will end that jam. See as the rest of those points trickle in, looks like that is still going to be eight for North Star and eight for Connecticut tying up that jam. We do have one blocker apiece in the box for both teams. So three blockers will be on the track for each team. Looks like we've got Sasbury on the line against Thorne. Jam seven of the second half of the first game of the day. And with a beautiful run of the outside, that is Thorne for a lead jammer. The outside line is where it's at, guys. Sass working hard on the inside is now free on their initial pass as well, looking to score some points for their team. Thorne with a beautiful apex jump. Oh, and it is unfortunately going to be a track cut penalty for Thorne. Lead is taken away. It is a two minute jam as Sass is working on some points for North Star as Thorne reports to the penalty box. Just kidding. Black Jammer's now back out on the track. That's the second time we've seen that today where a jammer has been told to return to the track. It happens. Nice and easy, don't have to set your penalty. Thorne will head back to the back of the pack and push through for some points. 148 to 108 as of right now for the scores. Thorne and Sasbury working hard to get some points for their teams. Thorne is once again reinstated as lead jammer, according to the jam ref. Hearing a penalty whistle, we'll see who leaves the track. Looks like that is going to be North Star's pivot headed to the box as Thorne gets four more points for their team. Sass is being dragged all the way back by one of the captains for Connecticut. Thorne working hard against that North Star tripod. And is unfortunately hit to the end. But a no pass, no penalty means that she is still on the track and scoring points. 12 seconds left in this jam. Let's go, jammers. I know it's a long time. You got this. 11 points on the board for Connecticut All-Stars. As Thorne is unfortunately hit to the out. We're going to have another penalty as the jam comes to a natural conclusion. Well done, friends. Final scores for that jam. That was 13 on the board for Connecticut All-Stars to North Stars 4. Bringing the total scores up 112 for North Star, 161 for Connecticut All Stars. Looks like we do still just have that North Star pivot in the penalty box. Slim Sadie going up against Suffocation Risk as our jammers. 15 minutes, 24 seconds left in this half as Suffocation Risk says no thanks and is lead jammer up that outside line. Beautiful footwork seen today by all jammers. And a side surf up the outside. Quick tiptoe to the inside is four more points for Suffocation Risk. Slim Sadie's still on their initial, does have cap in hand. It's gotta wait for their pivot friend to get out of the box as they do so. And Slim Sadie is out and clear on their initial cap back on helmet. We do have two Connecticut blockers reporting to the penalty box. As Slim Sadie is coming around for some points, Suffocation Risk working through for a second scoring pass and a call off. Quick call to end that jam. Smart move. Seven points total for Connecticut All Stars in that jam, zero for North Star. So again, starting this jam, we will have two Connecticut blockers in the box. 
including their pivot. Katarina Hit taking on, I believe, Black Cherry. Yes, from Connecticut. Black Cherry doesn't need a pivot. Katarina Hit is out as lead with a little bounce and a hop off the floor. That will send another Connecticut blocker to the penalty box. Looks like all of Connecticut's blocking decided to go to the box at once. Sorry, friends, that was a lot of whistles. We now have two North Star blockers in the box, two Connecticut blockers in the box, as jammers are whipping around, getting points for their team. Katarina hit on the board. Black Cherry hit to the outside and forced to recycle all the way back to the back of the pack. It is a short pack. Both teams just have two blockers. And unfortunately, that will be another North Star blocker to the penalty box. Looks like there may not be room for them right now. I'm oh, just kidding. Now they get to take a seat, as there will be three North Star blockers in the box. Katarina Hit is at 12 points for this jam so far. Black Cherry sitting at four. Kilroy is back on the track for North Star. Black Cherry is through. Both jammers now sitting at 12 points apiece in this jam. And a call off from Katarina Hit will end that very exciting, dramatic jam. 14 points for North Star and Katarina hit 12 for Connecticut All Stars. Once again, big shout out to our refs and our non skating officials. That was a lot of penalty work to deal with on that jam. And we're going to take an official timeout so everyone can regroup. A lot of penalties in that last jam. Shout out to both skaters and refs for handling that well. We'll take a look and see what the penalties are sitting at. As it stands right now, we do have three skaters, one for North Star and two for Connecticut, with five penalties apiece. Again, you can get seven, so five's not bad, but it's not great either. You can be assessed two penalties at once. If you are assessed a penalty, the ref will say your color and your number, and if you don't hear them or choose not to hear them or hear them and don't do anything about it, they can assess you a second penalty, so which means you will sit for a full minute. That will be the end of our official timeout. 12 minutes left on this period clock. One blocker apiece in that penalty box with Sabotage and Jim Rat skating for their teams. And unfortunately, Sabotage will be sent to the penalty box on a track cut. Jim Rat making their jamming debut in this game will be out. It will be a two minute jam as Jim Rat did remove the star. That just means it's more time for Jim Rat to rack up some points for North Star Roller Derby. Full complement of blockers on the track for both teams as Jim Rat spins their way through looking for some points. Tumbling their way through. And that will be a penalty for Connecticut's pivot as Sabotage flies through from the penalty box almost undetected on their initial, and now both jammers looking to score some points. Jim Rat has four points already under their belt as they're looking to get some more. Sabotage looking to make their first points of this jam against North Star. Jim Rat unfortunately brought all the way back to the back of that pack. 48 seconds left on this jam, over halfway. A slow grind. Looks like we're going to have a forearm assess to Connecticut's jammer. That's the second penalty of the game. So once again, a power jam for Jim Rat and North Star. Breaks them through for four more points. That is eight points total on the board for Jim Rat and North Star Roller Derby.
Big hit to the outside. And a penalty again assessed to Connecticut's pivot, bringing them back to the penalty box. Jim Rat fighting at the top of that pack for a couple more points, and they do make it through. Now North Star's pivot being sent to the penalty box, and that will be the end of that jam. Sabotage escaping that penalty box just in time at the end of that jam, making sure that they can send another jammer up. Scores at the end of that jam, 12 points for Jim Rat and North Star Roller Derby, bringing their score up to 138. Three points on the board for Connecticut All-Stars, bringing them up to 183. Looks like we're going to have a team timeout for, I believe, Connecticut. North Star still has two team timeouts and an official review left. Connecticut, after this timeout, will have one team timeout and one official review left. Again, you can use your official review as a timeout, take a break, hang out, or you can use it to lovingly check in with the refs, make sure what they saw is what you saw. Ten minutes remain in this game. A lot of amazing footwork, amazing defense, defensive and offensive work seen from both teams to start off our second day of this hand tournament. We are now doing an official timeout. Make sure officials are all on board. It's been a busy game for the officials. Penalties, points, lots to take care of. We do now have one player from North Star sitting at six penalties. That is number 46 hit list. And Black Cherry from Connecticut, an immediate lead jammer for Connecticut Roller Derby. Slim Sadie not far behind, though, out on their initial as well as another Connecticut blocker heads to the penalty box. Black Cherry already in that pack looking for some points. And looking to their bench, see what they should do. Run it or call. Looks like they're going to have Connecticut run it for now, maybe clear their bench a little bit. As Slim Sadie comes in for points, Black Cherry already four points under her belt with another pivot from the penalty box cleared. That is Slim Sadie for North Star coming to the penalty box on a cut track penalty, giving Black Cherry some room to get some points and clear her box. She's already at eight points for this jam. That is an empty penalty box on the side of Connecticut. All four blockers from each team on the track as Black Cherry is coming in for her third scoring pass. Virtually untouched. That is 12 points on the board for Black Cherry and Connecticut All-Stars. Once again, a beautiful spin on that outside. Oh, it's okay. Happens. <laughs> Black Cherry coming through for 16 points in this jam as Sim Slim Sadie re-enters the track. Coming up against hard tripods, both these jammers pushing through. Black Cherry at the top, contending with all four North Star blockers as she is hit out and is dragged all the way to the back of that pack. And a beautiful sneaky star pass once again for North Star means Crust Almighty is going to be your jammer for the rest of this jam. 15 seconds left on that clock. See if Crust can get through and score some points as Black Cherry is through for four more for Connecticut All-Stars. North Star blocker coming to the box as well as a Connecticut blocker coming to the box. Black Cherry working as that jam comes to an end. Nice work, both teams. That is three points on the board for Crust and the North Star Supernovas bringing their score up to 141. 23 points for Connecticut and Black Cherry bringing their score up to 206. Holy smokes. And a time out on behalf of North Star Roller Derby. Why not? You may as well use them before the clock runs out. 
Seven minutes, 36 seconds left in the second half of the first game of the day. 206 to 141 with Connecticut leading North Star. And 23 points by Connecticut on that last jam. Aw, hugs on the track for your friends. Cute. Once again, around noonish time, do check out our food truck. That is coming to help us keep fired up for the rest of the day. Fire pot food truck with pierogies, polo sausages, cheesecakes, cheesecakes, gee whiz, cheese steaks, and more. I can't read my own handwriting on my own wrist. Sorry, friends. If there is cheesecake, though, let me know. Ref's coming back. Coach is checking in. That will end that team timeout. Again, both teams starting with one blocker apiece in that penalty box. Looks like we've got Katarina hit for North Star, taking on suffocation risk for Connecticut. And pushing towards the front with one left to beat. That is Katarina hit for North Star Roller Derby, getting lead jammer for this 12th jam of the second half. Suffocation risk, working to get out on their initial as well. That will send number 4-4 four, four to the box for North Star Roller Derby. Katarina hit out for four and a call off before. Let's see if Suffocation risk got there in time. All four on the board for North Star and a big old goose egg for Connecticut means that Katarina hit protected those points. Score now is 145 for North Star, 206 for Connecticut All Stars as we enter Jam 13. I'm sorry, Jam 12 of this game. Six minutes, 45 seconds left in this clock. Big shout out to Jim Deere taking all these beautiful photos of us this weekend. Only get my good side. Looks like we now have Thorne as lead jammer for Connecticut Roller Derby taking on Sathbury from North Star, still pushing through on that initial. Thorne is going to be out and looking for points as the pivot for North Star is standing in the penalty box. Unfortunately, that is going to be a cut track on Sathbury and reports to the penalty box as Thorne is through for four points for Connecticut All Stars. Thorne coming through for four more points. All four North Star blockers are on the track to try and stop her from doing just that. Pushing towards the top of that pack with a little bit of offensive help from her pivot. But North Star not letting up, holding Thorn just on the inside of turn two. Thinking about calling it, not quite doing it. And Thorn is through on one skate for four more points as Sathbury is released from the penalty box, looking to make finish that initial and does so with ease and is now out looking for points. Sassbury putting on the speed to get up there and try and score some points for North Star Roller Derby as Thorne is brought to their knees and does call off that jam. Jammers can call it off on their skates, on their knees, in the air. I've called it off from the floor once. Doesn't matter. As long as you look cool doing it. 10 points from that jam for Connecticut All-Stars bring their score up to a 216 to North Star's 145. And North Star using their last team timeout. Again, why not? Four minutes, 55 seconds left in this clock. In this clock, what's going on? We do have three skaters for Connecticut All-Stars sitting at five penalties apiece. Penalty total for Connecticut All-Stars right now is 37, if I know how to count, probably don't. And that is 34 penalties total for North Star. Again, four minutes, 51 seconds left on the period clock for this half. That whistle means timeout is ended. Penalty box is clear. 
And it looks like we have Slim Sadie taking on Black Cherry on that jammer line. Both jammers digging deep to push through. And with a nice hip flicker on the outside, Slim Sadie is out as your lead jammer for North Star Roller Derby. Black Cherry making some moves of their own on that outside, on their initial, looking to score some points as well as Slim Sadie hits that pack, looking for some points. Penalty box is still clear, and after quick four points, calls off the jam before Connecticut can make any moves. Four for North Star, zero for Connecticut. Nice, quick jam. Well done, friends. All right, friends, Katarina Hit taking on Suffocation Risk in the beginning of this Jam 15. Looks like we do have a penalty being assessed to a Connecticut blocker. Unfortunately, also a cut track being assessed to Katarina Hit of North Star Roller Derby means that this will be a power jam opportunity for Suffocation Risk and Connecticut All-Stars. Saf working against all four North Star blockers, a little offensive help from their friends but does get through and is lead jammer on this power jam for Connecticut All-Stars. North Star setting in to try and stop Saf from getting four points. Grindy scrummy pack as of right now, but Saf will get through on a spin for four points. Katarina hit release from the box. And again, once again, a beautiful star pass on the part of North Star Roller Derby, making Kilroy your new jammer. Amazing star pass is done by North Star today, nice and sneaky. Staff coming up for four more points. Kilroy coming up for points of their own, but before they can do so, the jam will be called by Staffication Risk, bringing their score total up to 224 with eight points on that jam. Quick, exciting announcement about the food truck. It's not here at noon, it's here right now. Give them about 15 minutes to get all set up and then in between games, go find the big blue food truck in the parking lot. It's the only food truck out there. Place your orders, give them about 15 minutes to get set up and enjoy some amazing food. One Connecticut blocker in that penalty box to start off this next jam, 16. Two minutes and two seconds left on that period clock. And that is going to be Thorne from Connecticut as your lead jammer as Sasbury is fighting through the back and is now clear on her initial but does have to go back. Cap in hand as Thorne approaches to get some points for Connecticut Roller Derby. A nice push by North Star to get Thorne out on the outside, causing them to drag all the way back to the back of that pack. Sass, unfortunately, also being dragged back. Cap still in hand, looking to make some moves on their initial pass. That is Jim Rat, the pivot for North Star, making Thorne's life real hard out there. But Thorne is through for four points. Sass working towards the top of that pack on her initial. We'll get past one. Cap in hand is working on that last blocker as Thorne is pushing against the back of that pack. Sass now out on her initial cap back on her helmet, looking to score some points for her team. Thorne working along that outside and will call that jam off before Sass can make any moves on that score. A tough jam. Rot row. Unfortunately, it looks like Thorne will be reporting to the penalty box for Connecticut, meaning this is a power jam start for North Star Roller Derby. 22 seconds left on that period clock, plenty of time to make something happen. All four blockers are on the track for each team as Katarina Hit is working their way through on a power jam for North Star. Great offense, but now still having to work against all four Connecticut blockers as Katarina Hit pushes towards the top of that pack on a power jam start. That will be a forum call called 
on a Connecticut blocker as Katarina hit is free and clear. Lead jam on a power jam coming in for some points. That is Connecticut Jammer returning to the track as Katarina hit does manage to get those four points at the top and is coming back for more. Thorne does have cap in hand coming back from that penalty box. And it looks like the pass, star pass was not successful. In order for a star pass to be successful, both players must be upright and in bounds and pivot was out of bounds when that pass was attempted. So Thorne is still your jammer. As a North Star blocker will head to the penalty box, Katarina Hayes still working towards this top, working on the next round of points. Thorne once again has Cap on their head, is still the jammer. That is 12 on the board for Katarina Hit North Star Roller Derby as a Connecticut blocker does sit in the penalty box. Thorne being absolutely punished at the top of this pack here as Katarina comes around for four more points. One blocker to beat at the top. That blocker will go to the penalty box. That is 16 points on the board for Katarina Hit North Star Roller Derby as Thorne finally gets their way through. Katarina Hit looking for Four more points, Thorne coming in. And a call off will end that gruesome jam. 18 points on the board for Katarina Northstar. Unofficial score as it stands right now is 167 Northstar, 231 for Connecticut. Again, it's not over till that final whistle rings through. There it is, folks. Official score. All blockers are released from the box. 231 Connecticut All-Stars to 167 North Star Roller Derby. Well-fought game for both teams. Go out, high-five your friends. Up next, folks, at, again, at noon, we will have the Denver B team taking on Grand Raggedy. If you're hungry in the meantime, there is a food truck outside.